Hi, I'm Dave Stedman with American Seal and Packing, and I want to talk to you about metal gaskets. Now, in particular, I want to speak to you about spiral wound gaskets since they're the most common, and we get the most questions about spiral wound gaskets. Um, typically, a spiral wound contains very few elements. Uh, there's an outer ring, a spiral winding, which is just a very thin piece of metal that has been shaped to have a V-type configuration. And in between each of those windings, uh, that's spot welded at the ID and then spot welded at the OD. And then in between each one of those windings is a filler material. And that filler material is actually what's doing the sealing. The fact that the um, winding material has a V configuration gives it recovery. So it'll bounce back and uh, give you uh, a better sealing property. So in this example, you have flexible graphite um, as the filler material, which is an exceptional filler material, 0 to 14 pH range, high temperature, um, and relatively inexpensive. So it's, it's really the most common that we see these days um, and has overtaken the non-asbestos. Um, the other the other type that occasionally comes into place is a is a spiral wound gasket with an inner ring. Now, the industry standard terminology for this, um, this would be called a CG. That, of course, was all laid out by um, Flexitalic many years ago. Uh, each manufacturer has their own designation as far as uh, what the styles are, but any manufacturer is going to recognize what uh, Flexitalic laid out and f fill your orders according to those. Um, so anyway, you've got a metal winding on the ID for a vacuum type service. Anytime you're sucking in, you're worried about the collapse of that spiral, you want an inner ring. An outer ring is most common. And on occasion, particularly for an OEM type uh, installation where you've got a groove you want to fill with the spiral wound gaskets, it's not an ANSI standard flange, you'll use a winding only type configuration. Winding only is a little misleading because it's not just winding, you also have the filler. But it's spot welded on the ID, spot welded on the OLD, and holds it all together. So that's the basics of uh, a spiral wound and how it's configured. Um, Every spiral wound does have a color coding to it. And here you can see it's yellow on the OD. This is because it's inside of a flange and that's the only part that somebody could uh, identify it from externally. And if they see that it's yellow, they know it's 304 stainless. Um, so we, if you'd like information as far as what the color coding breaks down to, send an email to, uh, to me. Send it to dave at aspseal.com and I'd be happy to email you a quick reference guide. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We're American Seal and Packing and I'm Dave Stedman. Thank you very much.